This is Cycle 1, Week 23, Famous Composers. We're going to be talking about Frederick Chopin today. So we have another five-minute Mozart, Mozart to listen to. You can search it on YouTube by typing in five-minute Mozart and the um, composer's name if you would like, or there's the link on there provided for you. We also have three facts about his life that you're welcome to talk about with your kids. Um, or use the Mozart if you would like that as well. We are going to be listening to some of his music. It is in your script as well. You can just Google search that for listening. So that way when you are done talking about him and sharing some facts about his life, then you can be listening to some of his music. As we listen to his music, we will be making trombones. So we will be making our finished product to look something like this. So first and foremost, I wanted to talk about the mouthpiece. So this is the mouthpiece. Yes, it is a wax crayon for children. So make sure to incur to tell the children, no, these are not for biting. These are only to be used to help us blow to make a better sound. So you want to have the kids each take a crayon for them to have and then have them be blowing into them. So you're going to want to kind of pucker your lips more like that and blow into it like so. <laughs> So it can just be a fun time to play with the kids with that and have them blow into it and be practicing blowing into it while it's a smaller piece than using the entire thing at once. So that can just be something to encourage them to do and to kind of get some fun giggles out as they blow on that and then have them all put it down as you're building the rest of the trombone. So the rest of the pieces of the trombone, we have the mouthpiece, mouthpiece which we have lots of wonderful mouthpieces. We have these two pieces, one is smaller than the other and will be inserted into the tube. And then we have a funnel, which will already be pre-cut so that it can fit into the red side of it. And then the mouthpiece will be inserted like so. So is what you're going to want to do first is you're going to want to tape the top of the red pipe. So when you get a red pipe, you're going to want to take a little bit of tape just a small amount. You can see here I don't have very much, but it does lip over the edge slightly. You're going to want a little bit of a lip over the edge because you're wanting to create that friction to make a better sound. You do not want this to be double thick. You just want it to be one piece of tape that goes barely around one time, one in a tiny bit at the most. You do not want to have a huge piece of tape that you're wounding around or it will not go and be inserted into the blue tube. So you'll have to gauge for how to do that. But it's just a matter of taking the tape and just putting it around once and then cutting it so that it doesn't go around too many times because it will be too thick. So once you've done that, you can then insert your funnel. So we have the funnels perfectly cut for you all to just be inserted in. Once you insert that in, you're going to want to tape that. So you can take the tape that's been provided, you can open it up and you can tape around the side to secure it in. It's good and secure, but it's just better, especially with kids, to have it even that much more secure. So you want to tape that. Then you want to insert it into the bigger part of the tube. Then the last part for assembling the trombone is the mouthpiece. And so I would recommend using the hot glue gun from your art bin. So you would have used this in the last previous weeks too. So take this out, use this for putting a little bit on the crayon or the mouthpiece around here so that you can quickly insert it here so it can be good and snug. You that might then want to tape around it as well. You also might, depending on the age of your class, you might want, and the comfortability level of parents of their kids putting the mouth on wax crayons. They are non-toxic, um, but if you want to put a little bit of tape around that, so they're putting their mouth on tape, um, you can do that as well. You can use your best judgment on that. So that way then this is inserted and is stuck good and tight so that air doesn't be flow can flow through and then once that's done the kids can have fun blowing the trombone before making it pretty so here's an example of blowing it so 
So you can talk through how the sound of the trombone is different when you move it or applying that friction of a smaller barrel to then a longer barrel and how the pitch changes as they do that. And can they hear the sound difference um, as they are making wonderful music? Another fun option is to be listening for a trombone when they are listening to their classical music. If they don't know what a typical trombone sounds like, you could also play that earlier so that way they know what it sounds like to be maybe raising their hand or raising their trombone when their um, instrument is being played. It can be a fun thing to think through um, and to be learning a little bit more about the instrument. Lastly, so once everything's all glued, taped up together, It'd be fun to make them look pretty on your directions. We have put gold spray paint, but we're not gonna do that. It's just too much for drying and the pipes just don't adhere to the spray paint and it's just gonna get on people's hands and it's just gonna make a mess. So we decided not to do that. And we are going to, if you have extra washi tape from your, it was week six, and then we used it for the banjos for the lids. You, if you have extra, you can then make your blue top part of the trombone pretty with that. You can use it for the bottom part, but I would not recommend using much washi tape, if any, because by inserting it in and out, you could potentially ruin the tape or get the thing stuck, depending on how thick the tape is. So I'd encourage the class to just washi tape the top if they're even wanting to put any on, and then also get from your art bin the permanent markers to then be coloring it and making it beautiful as they're wanting to color it. And so this is another thing they will get to take home. So you are welcome to send, they can send all of it home. If they want to spray paint it or paint it at home or make it more beautiful with their fun stickers or whatnot, they're welcome to do that. But those are the options that we have for this. There's also, if you end up having extra time, I know it's kind of a lot, so you probably won't have extra time, but if you do and you haven't done it yet, we do have that draw a violin from the, one of the previous weeks to practice if the kids are wanting to do that, or, or you can encourage them to draw just any instrument that they might enjoy.